Good evening. My life today for February 16th. The reading is entitled, Joy and Peace. The scripture reading is taken from Romans 15 verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord has determined that every soul who obeys his word shall have his joy, his peace, his continual keeping power. Such men and women are brought near him always, not only when they kneel before him in prayer, but when they take up the duties of life. He has prepared for them an abiding place with himself, where the life is purified from all grossness, all unloveliness. By this unbroken communion with him, they are made co-laborers with him in their life work. Words cannot describe the peace and joy possessed by him who takes God at his word. Trials do not disturb him. Slights do not vex him. Self is crucified. Day by day, his duties may become more taxing, his temptations stronger, his trials more severe. But he does not falter, for he receives strength equal to his need. Those who are learning at the feet of Jesus will surely exemplify by their deportment and conversation the character of Christ. Their experience is marked less with bustle and excitement than with a subdued and reverent joy. Their love for Christ is a quiet, peaceful, yet all-controlling power. The light and love of an indwelling Savior are revealed in every word and act. There have been times when the blessing of God has been bestowed in answer to prayer, so that when others have come into the room, no sooner did they step over the threshold than they exclaimed, The Lord is here! Not a word had been uttered, but the blessed influence of God's holy presence was sensibly felt. The joy that comes from Jesus Christ was there, and in this sense the Lord has been in the room just as verily as he walked through the streets of Jerusalem or appeared to the disciples when they were in the upper chamber and said, Peace be unto you. Thank you for listening. Have a good evening. God bless you.